guys welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to be doing a current lifestyle favorites video so just keep watching so you guys it has been forever since I've done one of these videos um, so I thought I just do want to give you guys an idea of what has been my favorite things lately um, there's been so many things that I have been like wanting to try now that it's winter or about to be winter here and it just puts you in a different vibe so um first thing i'm going to do is start with a cleaning product now this cleaning product is method and if you guys have watched uh, me and my mom's previous video if not please go and watch it uh it's talking about our favorite like cleaning brands and supplies or whatever um right now i am really loving mrs myers and method um i actually got this for two dollars and 20 cents at a store that we go to it's called cargo largo i did do a haul about that so there's a video on that store as well um and this is the pink grapefruit smell and for some reason i know it may seem more like spring and summer but i am it smells so good i am loving this scent right now um it's real like light and kind of remind you of summer spring but i like to use it still all year round and it makes your house smell so good and a little bit goes a long way so you don't have to spray a lot to get that pink grapefruit smell and uh, it really it smells good and it's not overpowering because sometimes grapefruit scents can be very overpowering but this one is very like very soft and i really love it and it's in the method brand now my next thing is it's not actually in here but i did save the box because i was cleaning it um it is this Vegetti pro um cutter it's like a vegetable cutter and it's like yeah i know, know y'all seen it on tv or whatever but it is the bomb me and my husband we love this thing um, if you guys can see, you can make, it says great for zucchini, squash, carrots, cucumbers, potatoes, and more. And we did, um, since we're trying to eat healthy, instead of using pasta, we're going to use like more vegetables. So that's why I wanted to get this. And we did, um, zucchini noodles with shrimp and with Alfredo sauce and it was so good and if you guys are on white weight watchers because me and my husband are on weight watchers and we um i think you only had to count for the sauce because the shrimp was zero points and then zucchini is zero points so it was like a good meal and it was so good and it's i thought oh it's not gonna be filling it's not enough carbs but it surprisingly it was enough a one serving was plenty and it's so easy to do if you guys would like i can do a video about a, a video on showing you how to do it but it's so easy to do the cleanup is so easy you just take a couple pieces out and clean it up and store it and it's so convenient um we purchased it at walmart i believe it was 16 dollars, so it's a really good price um if you know someone who's who wanted wanting this uh it's great for people who are on weight watchers doing a healthy diet but it's also great for people who are uh, keto and they don't eat carbs and pasta and stuff like that and if they still want like a spaghetti or alfredo you know uh, type fettuccine alfredo type you know type of meal this would be great for someone who is on uh, a keto diet now speaking along the, the lines of health um me and my husband we are trying to do better by being healthy and drinking more water so i picked up these water bottles off of amazon a good friend of mine had one and i just loved hers hers was like a teal and i think the brand is myra it's spelled m-i-r-a if i'm pronouncing it wrong um but this is my husband color he's he loves this type of green and you know i'm crazy i had to do something different so i got this really cool like marble wood orange and yellow and white type of uh, water bottle and these are 32 ounces so four of these will be equivalent to oops sorry four of these will be equivalent to a gallon if not if not just a little bit over but if you drink four of these you'll be you know typically doing a gallon of water a day which i try to do at least three but whoo you do run to the bathroom a lot when you drink this much water but the only problem with these are um that you can't put them in your cup holders in your car i can't put them in mine so that's a downfall but they can be in your seat and you know if you have water in it it's not going to spill because the lid is really really tight 
it's easy to open it's secure um they keep your drinks ice cold like it is insulated it will be ice cold or hot whatever type of drink you put in there whether it's cold or hot it will be that five hours later when you come back to it so um if you guys you know this is a great substitute if you thinking about getting a water bottle and you wanted something that's going to last you know yetis are good cups too but sometimes yetis can be more ex more expensive so i thought this was a good idea um these were this one was 19.99 on amazon and this one was 21 dollars on amazon so they're a little bit inexpensive than yeti but it's just something different if you're looking for water bottles now my next couple things are candles and um if you guys i'm pretty sure you know about it bath and body works had their 8.95 candles and my loving mother went and picked up some for me because i couldn't make it so she got me a few candles and these are the ones she got me she has she got me the apple garland and this is one of the ones i am currently lighting right now i like two candles at a time uh, i just like the mixed smells it's apple garland and <sighs> i don't know it smells so good it's it's just i don't know it smells so good it's like apple but it's like pine and it's not overpowering pairing and when you light it your whole house smells instantly like it smells so good my husband really liked that one now this one is one of my all-time favorite this is frosted cranberry this is like this one smells like cranberries but this one is like soft it kind of smells like a woman when she's putting on perfume and it's just real soft and mild but uh, i just can't describe it. it smells so good this is me and my husband's favorite one frosted cranberry and i think i'm gonna burn that one after apple garland is done and then this one is red velvet cake my mom said my daughter picked this one out because she was with her this one um it smells just like a red velvet cake with icing like this i mean if you i don't know it's, it's just smell red like a red velvet cake cake with icing this is exactly what it smells like so i'm excited to see how it burns because sometimes these scents smell good here but when they burn they don't really smell like that so i just i'm excited to see what this will smell like but from smelling it it smells just like a red velvet cupcake with icing on it i mean it smells like like cupcake miss i mean it just smells like cupcakes and this one is another one that i have been lighting sometimes i switch back and forth depending on my mood but this one is flannel and you guys probably are familiar with flannel um flannel is just like a flannel is more like a muscular masculine uh smell it's like it could be it can almost be a man's per cologne that's how it smells it's it's real it's real like wintry um outdoorsy type of man smell this is what this one smells like and i love it it smells really good this one in a mahogany teak wood are my two like most masculine smells um so if you're thinking about getting you know you have a husband and you don't want your house to smell too girly i will say flannel and like mahogany teak wood are good candles for like you know your husband and also women it's a good smell for women as well and then this one I did not purchase at Bath and Body Works. I actually got this one at Aldi's. And Bath and Body Works do have a hot cocoa and cream candle. But this one I purchased at Aldi's. And all these candles be like six bucks, six, seven bucks. I think I got this one for five dollars actually when fall was getting in um was coming. And but this is my entryway candle because I have a, a entryway table. So I like to when people come in, I like for them to smell, you know the house got smell good so this is the candle for that uh, and it smells just like hot chocolate and cream like it's just it, it, it's a cozy it makes you think of having a cup of hot cop hot chocolate watching your favorite movies snuggling being with your family this is the candle it's it's just a, it's a family candle it's it just makes you think of good times with your family i like this candle okay y'all so this next <laughs> this next <laughs> favorite is uh a pan and that's how you know you're getting old and like you go to the store and i don't even care about clothes as much as i used to like i want to know what's what's the latest you know like 
vacuums or the latest kitchenware or the latest cleaning supplies. That's sad, ain't it? But anyway, um, this is called the Granted Rock. Y'all, this is the best pan ever. And I'm going to show you what it looks like because we've used it. But this is what it looks like if you buy it in the store. It is the Granite Rock. And it's a triple layer nonstick Granite Rock with titanium. And extra long lasting. And it's one of those as seen on TV things. I'm telling you, those things get me all the time. But it is the best pan to cook eggs in. Like sometimes you can have a nonstick skillet, but stuff can still get stuck. Or you got to use water or butter or a cooking spray to get your egg perfect and my husband like sunny side up eggs he like eggs different and stuff like that so he found he looked online and he was you know trying to figure out which pan would be the best so we came across this one we bought it at walmart it was only 19 like 89 or 98 or something like that and they have a big one too um i think we we're going to go back and get that one but we just wanted to try this one out and we love it it's it's the best way to cook an egg like it I don't know y'all it's just the best way like you don't need to put anything on it we don't put any cooking spray no butter no nothing in here i literally cracked my eggs this morning i made my husband two for graphics i cracked two eggs in there put a little salt and pepper on them like i said he liked the sunny side up and let it do what it do for about 10 minutes and put it on his plate served it with him some sausage and he had a, a some perfect eggs he loves his eggs like that and this pan right here, the Granted Rock, you, I'm telling you, if y'all don't have this, go to Walmart today and get it because it is a lifesaver on a lot of stuff that's like non-stick, like that'll stick to your like eggs, just eggs. Is you can you can cook other stuff on here, but we basically got it for our eggs because we, we eat a lot of eggs and please go get this. I highly recommend that you go get this granite rock skillet. And like I said, they have a big one. And I think the bigger one is like $24. So that still isn't bad. And they said it lasts forever. And it's such easy cleanup. Like you don't even have to put all that extra stuff on there. Don't want to use nothing hard to put on there. Um, I actually just rinse it in water, put a little soap on there with some paper towels and just rinse it off and it cleans just like that. And it's the best thing ever. Our next item is this Yes to Carrots Nourishing Daily Cream Facial Cleanser. And I've been on a look for a cleanser that's not extra expensive. I love my Shiseido, I think that's how you pronounce it, cleanser from Sephora, but I haven't been there to go get it. Um, and that's typically like $28 to $30, which is reasonable for a cleanser. But I wanted to get something that wasn't that expensive and I wasn't about Sephora, so I needed something right away. And I actually really like this cleanser. It's creamy, it's thick, but it's not too thick. It has a good consistency to it. And it also smells really good and it's not harsh on your on your face. And I like the fact that you can use it every single day. A lot of cleansers, me personally, I can't use them every day because I do deal with eczema and it seems like it dries my face out. But this one does not do that. And I bought it from Ross and it was only $3.99. And they do have like the um, moisturizer um, cleansing wipes and different things like that too that I think I might go back and get. But yeah, I would highly recommend this. Um, it's, it says that it's paraben free, 95% uh, natural product. So I think it's safe for, you know, on your skin and different things like that. Last item that I got um, is this Dr. Till's body oil. And it's Soothe and Sleep with Lavender. It's the Soothe Dry Skin, Seals and Moisture. Gentle Formula Absorbs Quickly with Pure Epsom Salt. And I mainly got this because, I, I like I said, I do have really bad skin, especially in the, the winter. It's just, I don't know, it just I just break out. And I use Nivea or Eucerin um, Lotion. But sometimes I even need an oil to top it because the skin be crusty, okay? So, um... I've been using this and it's been helping and you don't need a lot because a lot go a long way with this. Uh, a little goes a long way, um, but I've really been using it and I've also been using it on my feet. Uh, for some reason, it's winter. It ain't even winter yet and my skin is acting up. Um, but I've been using it on my feet when I get out the shower and I put it on my feet um, with a little lotion. But lately, I've just been using this on my feet 
and then I'll put some um some really like warm fuzzy socks on right after I put this on to keep the moisture sealed in and locked in and the next day my feet are so soft so like really really soft so I've been doing that and I I would rec highly recommend that if you have problems with like your feet being like real ashy and crusty and stuff I would highly rec recommend not just putting the lotion on but an oil and then trap it trapping that moisture in with like some socks throughout the night and this is also good because it's soothe and sleep and I, I don't know, I used to feel some type of way about stuff be like, oh, it helps you go to sleep. But I really do think it, I don't necessarily think it helps you to go to sleep. I think it calms you and relaxes you. And that's what lavender is supposed to do. So I think it calms and relaxes you so you are more, you know, suitable or more, or more relaxed to go to sleep, if that makes sense. So I got this at Walmart. I think it was like five dollars or something like that inexpensive um like i said i've been having it for a long time a little bit go a long way i mainly just been using it on my feet and my hands at night um and it's really really been helping and another tip is if you do use it on your hands especially at night after a shower what i would do is put some on my hands and they have moisturizing gloves that you can put on for a few minutes you know five or ten minutes after you get out the shower, you know, right before you go to bed, and you can put these gloves on and it locks in that moisture like it did your feet and your hands will feel so, so smooth, so soft. So I highly would recommend not only using a lotion, but also an oil in the winter just because it's very, very cold and that means your skin becomes very, very, very dry if you like mine. So you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope some of these favorites or some things that you can pick up or some things that you are interested in. So just let me know. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. I, I thought it was so cute and it just matches this little leopard print here. This is also by the Wonder Nation brand. And this is was $6.49.